guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Kayla. I post a lot of beauty and lifestyle videos on my channel. So if that is something that you are interested in, definitely consider subscribing before you go. In today's video, I wanted to create a fun look. I saw Katy Perry's Chain to the Rhythm music video, which just released earlier this week. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. I really love the vibes and like the colors and everything else that I'm not really going to get into in this video about that music video and so I wanted to try to recreate my own version of her looks and so I decided to try to recreate the first makeup look that she's wearing in that video and this is what I came up with and so if you guys want to see how I did this please keep on watching all right so to begin I've already prepped and primed my face now in the video Katie has very glowy youthful skin so I wanted to incorporate that into this look so I'm actually going to be combining two different foundations so the first one is the makeup Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation and then the other one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now I'm going to go ahead and just blend that all out. Now I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use this to both conceal my face and as a primer on my eyelids and again just to blend that all out. Alright, now moving on to the eyebrows. In the video, she has a very unique shaped brows. There's no real arch. They just kind of go like all the way back. Now on the ends of my brows, I don't really have very much hair, which is why I don't think that I need to cover my brows. However, if you do have really thick brows and you are trying to recreate this look, you may want to cover those up. But I think that I'm just going to kind of comb my brow hairs up and just try to fill them up higher than I normally would and try to avoid any sort of arch. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> like I said, the first thing that I'm going to do is just brush my brows upward and get them into place. Her brows in this video are basically black, but I didn't want to go that dark. I am going to go darker than usual, so I'm just going to be using my Cabral from Benefit, and this is in the shade number three. And now to begin, I'm just going to draw the front portion of my eyebrows the way that I normally would. I am going to just kind of speed through this front portion part, but if you do want to see a full tutorial on how I fill in my brows, I will link that down below as well. Now for the second portion of my brow, I'm really just drawing it outward. I'm trying to avoid any sort of harsh brow and just really lift that tail up higher than it normally would go and just very straight and very outward. You'll kind of see how I do this as I go along. So now I'm just going to take a little concealer and clean up my brows. You may be able to tell that some of my hairs are showing, so applying this concealer is going to help cover that up too. Alright, so I ended up doing my brows a little bit more arched than I was intending to, but we're already here, so whatever. So this look is going to be incredibly simple. I'm just going to be taking this shade Gonzo from my Urban Decay Electric Palette and just packing that onto my lid. And next, we're just going to open up our eyes a little bit and just pull that blue out. And then you just want to blend that color upwards. All right, obviously this is not blended out very well at all, so I'm going to be taking this Essence palette. This is the All About Candies palette, and I'm just going to be using this blue shade just to sort of blend everything out and make it less harsh. So I'm going to start by blending out the crease and just really blending that out. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit on the lid as well. To smoke out my lower lash line, I'm just going to be using a little bit of this blue shade. And also, just so that the contrast isn't so harsh, I'm just going to take whatever is left on our brush that we used for the lid and kind of smoke that out on the outer corners. In the video, she doesn't have any sort of harsh contour or any bronze or anything like that, so I'm just going to be using this butter bronzer to kind of just give my face a little bit of shade because my face is so round. For blush today, I want a very pinky shade, so I'm going to be using this Too Faced Love Blush shade. And I'm going to be applying this a little bit farther than I usually do and just kind of sweeping it upwards. Next, I'm going to be using this Highlight Blush Duo from Pixi. This is the Rose Gold Duo. I'm going to use this as a highlight and also to kind of illuminate my blush a little bit more. For my lips today, I want to do a more pinky tint to my lips. So I'm going to be using this Juicy Shaker from Lancome. This is in the shade boomerang. Now in the video she does have more of a pink glossy look going on but I wanted to switch this up a little bit just because everything else is so dramatic but feel free to do whatever you would like. Now to finish off the eyes I'm just going to apply some mascara. Today I'm using my Tarte Tardiest Mascara. 
Alright guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it is a little bit different. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. And until next time guys, bye!